views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. This is your moment. Gather together each week to follow leadership by example, love, and inspiration. Welcome to Miracles of Holistic Health and Wellness with one of the most prominent naturopathic doctors in this country, as well as a leading detoxification and environmental illness specialist. Now, here's your host, Dr. Ronnie. Hello, hello. Welcome back to the Dr. Ronnie Show, Miracles of Holistic Health and Wellness. And there are truly a lot of miracles. Uh, We've been having some great fun over the last sessions. Um, Today, I'm excited because I have Michael Pulse on the line, and he is one of the most amazing uh, educators that I've had in a long time that deal with meditation and basically how to love yourself. Michael wants us all to know that we need to care for ourselves like we would care for a garden. And if you neglect your garden, you know what happens. Things start withering away and dying. Well, how many of us take care of our body like we would our garden? Do we water our bodies the same way? Do we feed it nutrients? Do we look at it with awe and curious eyes? Well, you should do the same thing, Michael says, when you look in the mirror every day. You should say to yourself, did I give myself enough water? How does my skin look? My eyes vibrant. Do I feel good today? And neglecting the garden and neglecting your garden, because you know how most of us, we worry about other people, and we'll talk to other people about the greatest things that they can do for their health, but at the same time, we're not doing it for our health. That's like neglecting our garden. So we should stop worrying about everyone else's garden and start worrying about our garden. That is what this exercise is about. Michael, we are ready because I'm going to do this exercise with you as well. And it's about 10 minutes. And and I'm telling you that inner peace that I feel after an exercise like this is amazing. And it's been told over and over again by some medical doctors because I see a lot of clients with high blood pressure how just 10 minutes can decrease your blood pressure. And I remember when I used to work with Howard Stern, um, and he, you know that he does that radio show in New York. I mean, he's a radio icon. He meditates in the green room. And I'm telling you, it, it's amazing when I see him come out that he's totally different and he even looks different. So meditation can change your life. It can help your life. It can help you with your chronic illness. So I'm excited, Michael. Let's start this new. Can you first explain what what do you mean by that? I think you can explain it better, neglecting the garden. Well, yes, we have a garden of life within us, which is the source, the soul of what we are. And we can we can connect with this garden. We can nourish this garden within us, which reflects in our body, because you can't do anything to the spirit, but the spirit communicates through the body, and the body is affected how we give attention to our soul. So if we neglect our soul, it is feeling that disconnection, and the cells are manifesting that disconnected state. That's why there's people, and I don't want to go too much into depth with this, but that's why no matter how many people we help, no matter how many people we, we, we do things for and we succeed on the outside, we're always going to end up short and empty inside. Because we neglect that which we are. So with that said, that's what this exercise is going to focus on. Great. We're ready. Okay. Thank you. I want to ask everyone to take a deep breath. Just relax. Close your eyes. I want you to visualize what I'm going to tell you. And if you can't visualize, feel that it's there. Your energy is more powerful than your brain. Just trust the process and surrender to it. So breathing in again, and as as you exhale, just release your body. Just let yourself be loose. Now deep breath in again, 
In this exhale, I, I want you to release any expectations of what you think it's going to be. Just let it go. Let all thought, let all perceived ideas go. Now, what I want to ask you to do is I want you to see a pile of dirt in your backyard. And I want you to see you planting the garden in your backyard. And I want to see you watering it. I want you to see yourself tilling the soil, pruning the leaves and the branches so that it grows straight and strong, talking to the plants, giving attention to the plants, loving the plants with your with your focused attention, energy, effort. And I want you to see this garden growing, giving life, giving you love back, connecting with you. As the, as the flowers bloom, it speaks to you beyond what even words can say. You appreciate the beauty of the plants that are growing in your backyard. Now, I want you to see your neighbor seeing your garden and saying, hey, can you help me with my garden? And then you help them with their garden. And then their neighbor asks them to help, asks you to help them with, with, with their garden, and so on and so forth. Next thing you know, you're helping five people a day with their gardens. All of a sudden now, you don't realize it, but little by little, you're neglecting your garden. So the garden is starting to wither little by little. It's starting to starve for water, for nutrients. It's looking for your attention, but it's not getting it. So it's starting to wither away. Let's fast forward a little bit more. So you're helping people with their garden. You come home. And when you see your garden, you're like, oh, I'll water you in the morning. I'm tired. I need to get some sleep. So you go and you go to sleep. You wake up in the morning, but you're in a rush because you got to help so many people and you're not worried about your garden. So you tell your garden, I'll water you when I get back. So you go to work. You do everything you got to do. Then you work on everybody else's garden. Let's fast forward a little bit more. Now your garden is on the brink of dying. You can't even see the blooms anymore. You can't see the leaves. But you can feel it's asking for water. So you water the garden. You, you apologize to your garden. You say, you know what? I apologize for not giving you the attention that you deserve. So you start giving your, your attention. You start seeing it bloom and blossom and, and empower itself through you. Then your neighbors ask you, can you help me with my garden? You know what? Let me show you what I do. Let me go and show you how to till the soil. Let me go show you how to prune the leaves. Let me go show you how to water it, what times to water it, how the seasons affect your plants. Let me show you what to do. You help them grow their garden. Now you're empowered from all sides because you are helping people help themselves, not doing it for them. So you're loving yourself and you're loving all those around you at the same time. So now your garden is strong. Now let me give you an example of what we just experienced. We experience when we grow as children, that people, our parents, everybody tells us, believe in yourself. We are going to go on a short break, but stay tuned. And we are going to be right back with more Miracles of Holistic Health with Dr. Ronnie Deleuze. Naturopathic doctor, founder of the Martha's Vineyard Holistic Retreat, and author of the New York Times bestseller, 21 Pounds in 21 Days, Dr. Ronnie Deleuze has helped tens of thousands of people, including celebrities and athletes, with her message of lifestyle change. Now, Dr. Ronnie Deleuze wants to help you. You, too, can be saved. Email Dr. Ronnie Deleuze at info at ronniedeleuzeonradio.com and visit mvholisticretreat.com. Dr. Ronnie Deleuze, your partner in wellness. Are you ready to stop stress, anxiety, and low self-esteem from running your life? Join award-winning author Dr. Friedemann Schaub for Empowerment Radio and learn breakthrough solutions to switch out of survival mode and approach every day with great ease, joy, and purpose. Tune in the first and third Wednesday at 11 a.m. Pacific to Empowerment Radio with host Dr. Friedemann Schaub on Transformation Talk Radio. Visit the fearandanxietysolution.com to learn more. What is a master soul gardener? With Nomi Bahar, you can be one too. Her revolutionary Gates of Power method is a comprehensive program that addresses every aspect of yourself, 
and gives you the tools to tend to the seeds of your soul's garden. Let Nomi guide you through and beyond what's holding you back and help you embrace the life you've always dreamed of. To learn more about upcoming classes and workshops, visit gatesofpower.com today. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. Each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit jenroyster.com for more information. Do you want the freedom to spend more time with your loved ones? Travel the world? Live spontaneously? Get ready because the Chip Justice Show is here. Hosts Dr. Pat Basile and Chip Justice can help you build meaningful success while embracing life. Living a life you love is the end game in this new inspirational and empowering show. Positive changes for a life you'll love. Tune in every month on TransformationTalkRadio.com and visit PositiveChangeInstitute.co for more information. What if your body and mind were the compasses to the secrets, mysteries, and magic of life? Glenna Rice, co-host of The Questionable Parent, is inviting you to access all that is possible. Glenna is a 10-year certified veteran access consciousness facilitator who offers an amazing variety of life-changing classes and workshops. Work with Glenna from anywhere with teleclasses and workshops all over the globe. To learn more and see Glenna's current schedule of events, classes, and workshops, visit GlennaRice.com. Hello, we're back with Michael Post, and we were in the middle of doing our meditation and we were breathing. So, Michael, can you tell us how to breathe? Yes. I just want you to just relax. Just relax everything. There's nothing to think about. Just breathe a deep breath in. Because breath is connected to the brain. The brain wants, wants to automate the breath. But when you can take conscious control of your breath, you're telling your brain you are the master of it instead of you thinking that the brain is your master. So I ask people, do you want to be the servant of your brain or do you want to be the master of your brain? Because we've all been masters. We all are masters. But we've been fall victim to think that we are servants. So. Breath is connected to consciousness. When you can breathe deeply and clearly with focused intention that you're going to breathe to relax, it is a powerful, powerful tool. So when I say that we need to tend our inner garden, when we focus our attention on ourselves, okay, we are giving ourselves the energy that we require to sustain everything. So I just want to, I just want to give everybody a little, uh, think about when you're a child. When you're a child, you're told that you're great. You're told that you're intelligent. You're told to believe in yourself. But then when you get older, you're told you're not so great. You're told that when you think highly of yourself, you're conceited, you're selfish. Where did that change? What I'm asking people to do is remember the child within, that self-love. Remember the unstoppable you, the, the, the strong you, the empowered you, the you that doesn't judge, the you that doesn't get affected by reality unless somebody tells you something. But the child in you can, it can accomplish anything. It's unstoppable. So remember when you're a child to feel great to love yourself, that you are intelligent, you are connected. Because if you look how a child observes life, they're looking all around with an imagination that they can be wherever they're at and they can be who they are. Now, 
And I ask everybody to do this for themselves. Give the gift the presence of you. Not what anybody else wants you to be. Not what anybody else tells you you are required to be. Be you. Because when you can be the authentic you and not a copy, that is when you're giving the gift of your presence here. And that is your purpose. To be you. When you love yourself, you can be you. And you don't care what anybody else thinks. Because when you stop and you care what anybody else thinks, you're stopping that you from being you. As long as you're not doing anything to harm anybody or take away from anybody, you're being you. When you're doing what makes you happy in the moment, you're being you. But it's always good to unplug and go within. But remember, that energy that is you is experiencing now. So as you were saying, for chronic illness, how can this help? Think about it, Dr. Ronnie. When you're being you, you're not stopping yourselves from doing what they're supposed to do. Right? When you stop That's and you so think, true. well, what are, what are they going to think? Or what is he going to think? You're stopping the cellular structure of being powered. Exactly. It's so true, Michael. One of the things that I wanted everyone to know about meditation there's emotional benefits of meditation and there's physical benefits of meditation. You know, when you're concentrating on the emotional benefits, you're trying to increase self-awareness. And that's what Michael's saying. And you're focusing on the present. And you got to let the past go. you got to let the stories go. you got to reduce your negative emotions. And then you talk about the physical benefits of meditation. And we talked about that earlier. That's when the goal mm-hmm. You think about the goal of meditation, decreasing your blood pressure, helping you have better sleep problems, decreasing depression, and helping your your asthma, and um, and, and really working with the physical problems with having cancer, which has huge emotions to that. And it's just so, so beautiful um, meditation. I I remember one of my clients, and at my retreat, I'm going to tell you what my favorite quotes are, one of my, I had a caller a little while ago, she was at the retreat. Thank you, Sandra, for reminding me this. And she said um, the, the most beautiful thing that makes her feel so peaceful at the retreat is she reads, I have about eight, you know, little things all around. And um, these are, I'm going to read them to you, and I know if you would appreciate them. And I don't know who said some of these things and who's the, you know, the owner of these quotes, but these are my favorite quotes. And I pick them from all over. And I remind myself, and I say it a lot, and I always say, uh, the number one, the biggest obstacle is fear. Two, I say this all the time, the most beautiful day is today. The best teachers are the children. The biggest mistake is giving up. And the worst defeat is selfishness. And the most precious gift is forgiveness. And the most important awareness is God. And the most wonderful happiness, and I'll say it again, the most wonderful happiness is peace. Mm. Yes. So resonate with that and think about that. And you, I want all of you, invite all of you to get your most favorite quotes. Type it out. Write it out with crayons. Surround yourself with it. Put it on your wall. Post it on your refrigerator and read it every single day, if not once, Mm. twice, or three times. Because you are what you think and trust me I'm surrounded by chronic illness all day every day that's my work so I know the difference between a person who is going to get better and a person who's not going to get better sometimes I have too much information it makes me sad to know that too much information 
But everyone has the opportunity to wake up each and every day and change the way they feel. We just don't know how to do that. And that's why I so appreciate you because you give people the opportunity and you teach them and you coach them on love, love for the physical body. And you allow them the opportunity to change and you allow them the opportunity to contribute to their own happiness by having a connection with their with their inner peace that's within them that they don't know about. And so you give yourself up to so many people. So that's our connection with chronic illness. And um, it's body, mind, and spirit. That's what holistic, miracles of holistic health and wellness is all about, the body, mind, and the spirit. And um, when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit about how do you implement meditation with nutrition and some of the other things that you do for your health. Because you truly need both. And then we're going to talk about some affirmations um, that I love, Michael, love affirmations. And we're going to give you some affirmations for you to take home with you today so that you can practice them. And then we're going to talk about a testimonial that we have, a beautiful testimony um, of someone that that, um, texted me earlier. And I'd like to talk a little bit about that. So more when we come back from break. More with Michael Post on UMA meditation and how to help your body and your mind through a chronic illness. Ready to experience Truth Talk Radio with host Deb Acker. Tune in to Truth Talk Radio each Wednesday at 3 p.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com to illuminate the truth in your daily life as you experience life, love, and abundance from a whole new perspective. This hit show will leave you feeling lighter and bring you into a place of infinite possibilities every day in every way. Visit TruthTalkRadioShow.com for upcoming transformative topics and guests. Naturopathic doctor, founder of the Martha's Vineyard Holistic Retreat, and author of the New York Times bestseller, 21 Pounds in 21 Days, Dr. Ronnie DeLuce has helped tens of thousands of people, including celebrities and athletes, with her message of lifestyle change. Now, Dr. Ronnie DeLuce wants to help you. You, too, can be saved. Email Dr. Ronnie DeLuce at info at RonnieDeLuceOnRadio.com and visit MVHolisticRetreat.com. Dr. Ronnie DeLuce, your partner in wellness. Francine Vale is a being of light. She believes that all people of planet Earth are as well. As co-host of the Angel Healer radio show, Francine teaches you heart-centered ways to manifest healing on your own behalf and how to integrate love more fully into your daily life. Connect with your angels as you find your life flowing with ease and harmony. Walk the path of light with Francine and Dr. Pat Basili every month on TransformationTalkRadio.com. A word of caution, if you prefer the status quo and you are not interested in improving every aspect of your life, this book will trigger the shift out of you. The Truth is Funny, Shift Happens is available now. Author Colette Steffen brings the powerful knowledge and life-changing energy and empowerment from the radio airwaves to the pages of her new book. To get your copy in paperback or ebook, visit thetruthisfunny.com today. Transformation Talk Radio is dedicated to the education and awareness of Lyme disease. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Lyme Talk Radio. I'm Dr. Pat, joined here by Dr. Nusheen Darvish. Dr. Pat Basili and Dr. Nusheen Darvish will be bringing the most innovative, groundbreaking information, research, treatment innovations, and stories from those it affects every day. I'm so excited to be talking about this. We have so much to share. Dr. Darvish and I are planning to do is connect the dots. People suffering with all sorts of chronic disease it's time. It is time for them to transform. Tune into Lime Talk Radio and help keep our mission strong. For the loyal listeners out there that have been listening to this incredible show on Lyme disease, we are not going to let you down. We're going to come through stronger and enrich the platform for Lyme disease awareness through Lyme Talk Radio. The message will continue. The conversations will become stronger. 
and the healing epic. Awaken to your radiant, authentic self. For over 15 years, Soul Purpose Advocate Nancy Monson has been focused on leading change in the lives of those looking to live their true purpose. She is devoted to supporting people and living a soul-directed life every day. Let Nancy help you overcome fear, worry, and doubt. Visit EverydaySpirituality.com to learn how Nancy can be your Soul Purpose Advocate. This is Dr. Ronnie, your host. There's many ways to use meditation. We talked about that. We talked about the many benefits of the meditation, and we actually are inviting you to call Michael for your free session, and Michael's going to give you his information so that you can do that. And that's a beautiful thing because of my meditation that I had with Michael. So I so appreciate him. And I would like for him to give out his information so that you, too, can talk, contact him for your free session or at least for information on how you can implement it into your daily life. Maybe he can give you some tips. Thank you, Michael. No, thank you. Um, yes, my phone number is area code 928-446-5887. And you can find me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Yuma, as in Y-U-M, as in Mary A, and then awakening, Yuma awakening at gmail.com, like you're awakening from a sleep. And then my email is the same, Yuma awakening at gmail.com. So I, you. you can reach me through any of those areas. Go ahead, Dr. Ronnie. I know Esther's probably trying to text me, um, but I've been busy, busy talking and answering some other questions. But I know she wants me to give our Facebook. So and I can't even remember, but just contact me, Dr. Ronnie, Facebook, or go to MV Holistic Retreat. I think I have so many Facebooks. This is the first time I've given out my Facebook. But if if, I, if I've gotten it wrong, just email me at drronniedeleuze at gmail. Dot com. There's many ways of getting hold of me. Um, I would like to talk a little bit about um, nutrition and how, because, you know, along the way, you know, we always talk about this body-mind connection thing. And so many people, no matter what subject I'm talking about or no matter which guests I have on, um, they always want to know how they can cleanse and detox their body. It all goes together, body, mind, and spirit. And, you know, one of the things that I always tell people is that we're living in a new day. And today, there's so many different coaches out there that are helping people with their health. And we're living in one of the fastest growing industries in the world, and that's called wellness. Um, it's not called the sick health system any longer. It's called the wellness system, which basically means we're now all teaching each other how to be healthy and happy. And one of the ways that I teach people how to do that is by detoxification and maximum nutrition. And when I say maximum nutrition, because I always have to explain that, is I will show you how to give your body some of the most basic foods that's going to give you 43 essential nutrients in a serving. And that's never been done before, Michael. And I have to tell you, when I started doing that with people, their lives had started changing around. And the reason for that is because we are living in the land of the plenty, but we're starving. And I know a lot of people don't believe that, but trust me on this one, that our food do not have the nutrients that it's supposed to have, or let's just say our food did not have the nutrients that it used to have. In 1950, the food that my grandmother was making for us, some of us who were born back then, or my mother, had almost, I'll give you an example, 1950, 10 cups of collard greens today 
is equal to one cup of collard greens in 1950. That's just a little example because I think people can relate to that when I say it like that. Uh, in 1950, we didn't have to have a bucket, a whole huge bucket of fruit to give us the same nutrients today that we have to have in order to get that. We didn't have to have like bushels and bushels of, of, of meat in order to get the quality of the protein and the quality of the essential fatty acids. So, but today we have a company that makes food and there's about seven of them now that have 43 essential nutrients in it. And the reason why I'm talking about this right now with meditation is because I'm now giving people whole body uh, protocols. Yeah. Basically what I'm saying is that I'm telling them, this is what you have to do for your mind and your spirit. This is what you have to do for your nutrition. This is what you have to do for when you wake up in the morning to get your energy. This is what you have to do in order for you to go to sleep. So I can write their protocols from the time they wake up in the morning to the time they go to bed. I can control it each hour of the day. I can give them a complete wellness day so that they understand that it's totally body, mind, and spirit. It's not just physical anymore. Yeah. You've got to have it all in order to have your, in order to have a complete wellness protocol and to be completely well, guys, you've got to have it all. And that is not hard to do because you have to implement these things into your life. And I'm by no way perfect because um, I, I love this quote, the secret of change is to focus all your energy, not on fighting the old, but on building the new. And the reason why I love this quote, Michael, is because uh, 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 two years ago, I had a, a real hardship where um, someone really came into my life um, on a business level and took huge advantage of me and to totally we lost hundreds of thousands of dollars. And you know, and, and, and I had to remind myself, but it took a long time. I had to stop. I couldn't stop crying because I couldn't believe that there were still people like that in the world to do stuff like that. And I'll tell you what a friend of mine told me who was an attorney, because he is the one that reminds me of that. The secret of change is to focus all your energy, not on the fighting of the old, but on the building of the new. And yeah. What that told me, Michael, is that I was giving all of my attention to to telling the story about what happened, and 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 people were on board with the, with me fighting. I remember people telling me, "You should sue. You should put them in jail. You should do this. You should do that. You should do all these things." And one day, someone, a really good friend, told me, "I'm gonna." And he didn't want my money, and he was an attorney. He says, "I'm gonna tell you what how you can get out of this." He said, you need to concentrate all your energy on building new. He said, exactly, exactly what you did before to get where you walk, to get where you were, you can get back there by concentrating on the new. He says, but you're mm -hmm. never going to get there by concentrating and fighting the old and telling the story and becoming mm -hmm. that person. That was the most happy, wonderful day, that day, because that's my last quote. The most wonderful happiness is peace. He gave me yes. peace that day. He gave me permission to stop fighting. Dr. Ronnie, can and I say something to that effect? Yes. Okay, thank you. I was going to say that that's what I wanted to leave everybody with today. What you just said, <clears throat> I want to tell everybody, all the listeners that are listening right now, and even if you hear it later, I want you to focus on your power. What is your power? Your power is to, okay, when you think a thought, you might not be aware of the thought that you're thinking, but your power is to entertain it or to ignore it, let it go, okay? You can't ignore it, so excuse me for saying that, to let it go, just let the thought go. But if you entertain it, then you're responsible of what you entertain. Also, you have the power to feel however you want to feel. Just because things are going chaotic outside of you doesn't mean you have to be chaotic within you. Because when you can know your power, and I'll, and I'll say a quote that I love, okay? This is from the 7-Day Mental Diet. 
and it's powerful. It says, judge not by appearances, but judge righteous judgment. And I'll end with this. What is righteous judgment? Righteous judgment to me is who and what we really are. We are not physical. We are manifested as physical. But more so, we are energy. And we can move that energy to whatever we want. Now, what we want, we need to really analyze. Are we thinking what we want? Or are we thinking what we don't want? Because if we're thinking what we don't want, your brain doesn't hear, I don't want this. Your brain hears this. Whatever you say you don't want, you're giving your energy to. So if you're not happy with your situation, don't no longer speak it. Speak as you already have the situation you want. And watch how things will happen. I'm living proof of this. I'm Dr. Ronnie is living proof of this. This is law. This cannot be... Okay, and I'll end with this. The, the, the perfection of the universe and the universe within us that is reflected out, the perfection of everything in existence, and all of a sudden we're not perfect? No, we are perfect beings. But when we focus that we're not perfect, then we feel like we're not perfect. We need to know our greatness. You're doing everything that you need to do at the time that you do it because you're getting to where you need to go. Reflect on that, that you are what you seek. There is nothing that you lack. Everything is within you. Connect with the silence because in the silence, there is nothing. There is only everything. That's beautiful, beautiful. We've given so much value today, and I just hope and pray that the people that are listening to us will take some of this advice and implement it in their daily lives. I've gotten so many texts uh, along the way. I couldn't answer everyone's question, but I have answered quite a few questions. But I invite each and every one of you who have a question, uh, and please contact Michael. He's so very, very um, generous with his time, and he will give you a free uh, session uh, of humor meditation, and I also invite you, anybody that want to know about the 43 essentials, because this is a body, mind, and connection, I will be more than happy to give you information about how to get 43 vitamins and minerals and essential fatty acids into your physical body, and Michael will be more than happy to talk to you about your emotional body. Mm -hmm. And please contact yeah. or send an information to Dr. Ronnie Deleuze at gmail.com, and I'm not sure which Facebook to give you. I'm sure Esther will reach out to you to give you the right Facebook, but there's many ways to contact me, and I hope by next week we're going to talk a little bit more about nutrition and a chronic illness. And we're going to talk about different types of supplements for different types of chronic illness. But in the meantime, I'd like to leave this little bit of value with you today. I would like to say, Michael, thank you so very much for your kindness and your generosity to my audience because it is truly, truly a pleasure to have you on and we're going to have you on again. And I want everyone to remember and go out this way by saying, do not neglect the garden within you. Don't worry about everyone else's garden. Worry about your own garden because when you're able to take care of yourself, there will be energy and room to take care of others. Until you're able to look at yourself in the mirror and say, I love you, you will not be able to love someone else the way they should be loved. Thank you for listening to Dr. Ronnie, Miracles of Holistic Health and Wellness. Tune in every Friday, 3 p.m. for more exciting guests and surprising stories. Visit her website at drronnieholistichealth.com. Skype her at ronnie.deluce. Tweet at twitter.com, Dr. Ronnie. Or call and leave a text at 774-208-2477. 